how to calculate sales commission in Excel. If we have few sales of a specific period it is very easy to calculate sales commission of our each staff, but when we have big database, a big sales report and want to know the sales and sales commission of our each staff, it can be very difficult. Suppose we have data like this. I have taken here small data for your easy understanding. There can be big sales data but calculation of the commission will be same like this. In this sheet in first cell I have product names. In next column sales staff names. That this sales amount belongs to which staff. And in next column I have quantities sold. Then in next column price of each product. In fifth column is amount of each sale. In last column we have to calculate the commission amount of our each employee. Now let's start. We will calculate the commission amount of our each employee like this. Here we will use this condition like this. Write equals sign. Then write if. After writing this. Just press tab column. You will get automatically if function. Along with parentheses. Then select column C5. Then write equals sign. After equals sign write the name of the employee. Of which you want to know the commission amount. Here we can write the name. Of any one employee. But before writing his name. Just write quotation mark or inverted commas, before and after his name, when there is any text. Value, always quotation marks or inverted commas are used with text. Up to here our function is showing that its C5 value is James. Then what this function has to do, if it is true then, pick F5 sales value and multiply with 15% as James commission rate is 15% after this right commit then function is showing down here if logic is not true then show which value as if it is not true then we can write inverted commas like this that don't show any value after this close the parentheses up to here our function has completed for one employee. Now as we press the enter button, this cell will show us the amount of commission for James. Now we have to drag down this function, then we will get the results for all sales which belongs to James. As now this table is showing commission amounts of James the sales which relate to James this column is showing his commission amounts which sales values do not belong to James table is showing empty rows if we have big data we can get commission amounts of our each employee in an easy way like this now we have to calculate the commission amounts of our other employees just copy the same function before, inverted commas, then write commit, then paste the same function, and just change the name of the employee, and his rate of commission. As here, our next employee name is Wakar, we will write his name, and will change his commission rate to 20%, as his commission rate is 20%. Then in same way, we'll write commit. Then we'll paste the same function and we'll change the name of our third employee. And also we'll change his commission rate, as Victor rate of commission is 10%. Now our function has completed for all employees. If we have more employees, in same way we'll copy paste the function and we'll make the necessary changes in the function. Then close the parentheses three times, as already we have three open brackets. C5 
so in same way, we have to close the parentheses three times, then press the enter button, and drag down the function, you will get commissioned amounts, in front of all employees. If we have big employees list, we can link their names with this condition, that where in if condition function, we have written, employees names, can't link cell reference numbers of the employees, and their commission rates, also can link in the function. Now you can see we have values in all cells, of commission so, it is very useful function to calculate commission of each employee. If we have big data list, now we have to get the total or sum up of each employee, that how much commission amount is becoming of our each employee. Here we will use one more function, sum if function, may already you know how to use this sum if function, if you don't know I have one more video on same topic, I have given a link down in my description. Just write equal sign, then sum if, and press tap button, you will get parentheses, then select whole table from names column, to further columns, then write sum if, then staff name along with inverted commas, or otherwise can provide cell reference of his name, then write sum if, then select commission column from start to till end, then close the brackets and press enter button. You will get the sum of value of staff. Then drag down the same function to down two other cells. So in this way we will get the sum of, of our all employees. Now we can check our Commission total amount is matching with our employees sum of value. If we want to know our sum if function values are correct or not, we can add the values one by one in this way. can add the values one by one for the all staff to check our total amount is matching with our results or not. Can see results are matching so our function is correct and calculation of commission amount has done. So in this way we can calculate commission of big data on few clicks. There is another way to sum up the total of all our employees commission amount, by using pivot table, may already you know how to use pivot table in Excel, if you are not familiar with pivot table, I have made separate video on the same topic, I have given a link down in the description, which you can see that how to use pivot table, the pivot table is very useful function or formula to generate MI and reports on few clicks. Select the whole data, along with headers. From its cell insert option select pivot table. You will get new box to create pivot table. There are two options, where to place results in existing sheet or in a new sheet. You can select any option. Here I have selected an existing sheet. Now from pivot table field list, pick the options which you want to get the results. Employees name, sum of values of sales quantities, sales amount or commission amount. From field setting option of pivot table you can get sum, count, average, max minimum and lot of more options as you want.
and can make the table as you want to place rows as columns and columns as rows. The use of pivot table is very interesting. You can't try this. Here for employees commission some amount I have selected some options. So in this way with the help of pivot table we can get some commission amount and can compare with our sum count option. Can see it results are same. You can choose any one option for sum up of employees commission amount, sum of and pivot table, anyone from both. For your practice, down in the description, I have given the link of this Excel sheet. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please thumbs up, share this video, and subscribe my channel for more useful videos.